A successful government interagency collaboration can be measured by the fruits of its labor. The partnership between the Cooperative Development Authority and the Department of Agrarian Reform has shown that challenges can be overcome, goals can be attained, and most of all, lives of people in the community can be transformed. The CDA-DAR partnership is also proof that ordinary individuals can be the leading protagonists in a success story worth retelling to the world. From among the thousands of cooperatives in the country that have raised their stature, 15 were chosen to be featured as success stories born out of the partnership. Of the 15, three cooperatives were handpicked to highlight the struggles and triumphs of agrarian reform cooperatives, with their members the main actors of their stories in this video productions featuring the Sagrada Farmers Producers Cooperative or SAFAPCO in Barangay Sagrada, Viga, Catanduanes. The Capi Small Coconut Farmers Multipurpose Cooperative, Casco Famco, in Barangay Undoy, Ivisan Capis, and the Blaan Clayag Andadido Sinasto, Bicads, in Barangay Bakong, Tulunan, North Cotabato. These three cooperatives may be situated in the different parts of the country, but they went through the same trials and tribulations and emerged victorious thanks to the guidance and assistance of CDA and DAR. Safafco, Casco Famco, and BCADS are the living testament to effective synergy of CDA-DAR partnership and the selfless devotion of the men and women behind these government agencies whose efforts and expertise were the vital ingredients in this collaboration. At first glance, Barangay Sagrada, a rural village in the municipality of Viga, Catanduanes Province, looks like just another dot on the map. But like many areas in southern Tagalog, Sagrada is an abaca-producing barangay. Its people also grow rice and root crops for food and commerce. Groups like the Sagrada Farmers Producers Cooperative or SAFAPCO have been contributing to the growing abaca production industry in the country, particularly in Catanduanes, which is considered as the largest producer of abaca not just in the Bicol region but in the entire Philippines. SAFAPCO was on its way to becoming a major player in abaca production in the province when an unfortunate incident wiped out its records and documents where it almost crippled the cooperative. But the fire that consumes a FAPCO's papers was not the only challenge that it had faced. Its members were disheartened as well due to the mismanagement of its past officials and for half a decade, the co-op has not progressed. But slowly its members gained enough courage to continue what they had started and the co-op was on its feet once again. This time, under a new leadership and a new vision that would propel Safapco to new heights. The Sagrada Farmers Producers Cooperative, Safapco, was created in 2004 by 36 agrarian reform beneficiaries whose means of livelihood include rice and root crop farming, cash crop production, and abaca growing. For the members of Safapco, abaca production involves hard labor and the mercy of the elements since yield is only at optimum during the dry spell and would decline during the rainy season. Tumaas nga ngayon yung presyo ng abaka, pero mataas din ang presyo ng bilihin. Doon kami nagiging kawawa. Nap Napakahirap mag ano, ng abaka, pero no choice kami. Wala kaming ibang magagawa, kundi magtrabaho para sa pamilya. Kasi kailangan yun eh. Maganda naman yung layunin nila nung sa, ng cooperative. Kaya, siyempre, kami, wala, din na, wala din kaming tutol para hadlangan yung magandang layunin na yun. Uh, Bagkos, susuporta namin kung nung kagandahan na yun at handa kaming tumulong. Ngayon naman, sa pagkasahirap ng trabaho, Sir Sabaka, talagang mahirap talaga yan. Lalo na pagka ang area mo, nasa malayo, pagka nandun ka na, ibibiladin mo, 
ganito lahat lahat halos finished product mo yan ganyan na sir tapos si eh, pasan pasan mo yun pababa yung uh, produkto mo tsaka ka magkakaroon ng pera pagka tag init magandang ano magandang mabilis tsaka magandang kita mo kasi tag init mabilis ka magkakaroon ng produkto sa girap naman yun lang talagang Walang, hindi ka makakapagbili ng, mag, ng tuyo, puro basa. Eh, dun, yun ang kalugihan ng isang ng Abaca Farmers. Sa FAPCO was organized through the Agrarian Reform Infrastructure Support Project of the Department of Agrarian Reform. In 2009, a fire burned down the house of Sa FAPCO's secretary at the time destroying the cooperative's vital files, records, and documents which she kept in her residence. After the incident, many of the members lost their enthusiasm and became inactive due to what had happened. This in turn affected the overall status of the cooperative. The mismanagement of some of its previous officials was also a major factor that led to the co-op's inactive status. Because of this, Safapco failed to submit their mandatory reports to the Cooperative Development Authority and other regulatory agencies of the government. The small business of the cooperative was neglected and in 2009, it became non-operational. When Safapco was starting out, DAR had played a vital role in its existence by providing it with machinery and building. But these were not utilized and eventually fell to disuse when its members lost their interest in running the cooperative. In March this year, Safapco was revived under the leadership of Chairman Melchor Padua. Nung namalagi na ako dito sa amin, inisip na i-revive. Ako ngayon yung, <laughs> ako na ngayon yung chairman. Sabi ko nga eh, parang may sibol ng bagong pag-asa. Dumami bigla yung <coughs> membership. Kaya, siguro, maganda-ganda prospect na cooperative na yun. From the original 36 founding members, sa FAPCO has now 85 active members, 48 of who are agrarian reform beneficiaries. Under Padua's chairmanship, Safapco is set to embark on a very significant endeavor that would have positive impact on the cooperative's existence and its future, the Abaca Trading Project. Yung pag-develop ng mga tao, mga social preparation stage, capability building trainings, dar ang ano yan, dar ang may gawa. DAR has assisted Safapco every step of the way, from organizing to extending financial and technical assistance. Aside from providing the assistance and capability building, DAR has also created access and linkages with other agencies, which can also help Safapco. So, yung, yung uh, access sa mga linkages with other agencies, ang nag initiate DAR, hila pa rin, no? Yo, nakaka ano kami, nakaka-link kami sa ba, sa DTI, sa DA, sa iba pang mga ahensya through DAR. So sila pa rin, sila napakalaki ng kanilang uh, contribution sa existence nitong cooperative na to. The construction of a processing center was initiated through the efforts of DAR as well as the marketing of the Safapco's products through its linkage with DTI. CDA's role is more on technical advisory functions and on updating the cooperative status. Yung CDA, yan ang go-between namin doon sa Big Brother Cooperative na yung PLDC nga. Yung Pinoy Lingap Damayan Cooperative. Iyan, na-facilitate yan because of the intervention of the CDA, of CDA, you know. Without which, siguro, mahihirapan din kami umpisahan yung trading business. Kasi kailangan namin ng mga technical assistants dito. Kamukha niyang fiber classification. The Barangay Chairman of Sagrada has shared the vision of the cooperative as he himself has found sa FAPCO a great help in the progress of both the co-op and the barangay. Bilang membro, 
malaking tulong ang kuup kasi diyan na nagkakaisa ang ano namin eh ang sama-samang kamay na magbibigay sa aming barangay para sa kaunlaran talaga ng aming komunidad. Pag nagsama-sama ang isang komunidad, doon na lalong uundad ang aming kabuhayan. Mga nakarang cooperative kasi, parang hindi maganda ang sama ng uh, council at ng cooperative. Hindi masyadong na-unite yung dalawa. Ngayon, uh, pipilitin ko ng magsamang maganda maging uh, magpartner yung council sa katug cooperative para sa itong layo ng aming barangay na ayusin ang kabuhayan ng mga tao what the cooperative needs at present are capability building activities like trainings the right equipment and capital to sustain its growth bibigay ng training sa amin na mara training ang mga membro para nang sa ganun lahat na aksyon tumatama hindi nagsasayang ng panahon hindi nagsasayang ng kapital kung may training ang mga membro ng cooperative perfect pagiging perfect ang galaw hindi magsasayang ng ano ng pira para sa Uh, trial and error ng, ng mga lahat na gagawing aksyon. Hindi, hindi nga, yung sa mente ko may paliwanag ng gusto ang, gusto ang layon ko pero pastang hangat ko yung progreso ng hindi nagsasayang ng, mga, ng kapital ng pira. Pumunta tayo sa kaularan. Sa ngayon, as usual, yung Uh, isang kahig, isang tuka ang buhay kasi hindi talaga sila na-rehearse sa tamang pag-impok, trabaho hanggang doon lang kakain hindi, hindi sila masyadong natitrain sa kung paano ang mag-save ng kanilang na, na kinikita ako bilang ano uh, chairman ngayon Inaano ko na sila, hinihimo ko na sila na ang kinikita sa isang araw, huwag lahat ubusin sa pagkain lang, ulalo na alak, huwag doon, kundi magsibing sila. Setting aside the challenges that came their way and which they were able to overcome, the people behind the Sagrada Farmers Producers Cooperative through the assistance of the Department of Agrarian Reform and the Cooperative Development Authority have continued to learn how to improve their lives and their cooperative for it is only through the constant learning that they will grow as productive citizens of their community and as co-op members.